authority to cast out. Mark 16 verses 17 to 18 And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents and if they drink any deadly anything deadly it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. This week we want to consider how to go about exercising the authority God has given to us. Many of us as believers uh, believe and we know that God has given to us authority in the spiritual world, in the spiritual realm. We have God-given authority or we call it as delegated authority. He has vested us with, a, with authority and this authority has been given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Meaning Jesus said, you use my name and you go against wicked spirits or demons and you go against the works of darkness in my name. That means we are using authority that's been given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. When we say in Jesus name, we are actually exercising our power of attorney. We are saying I'm here representing Jesus Christ. I am standing here on his behalf and I'm here to do what he would do if he were here himself present. That's what it means when we say in Jesus name, representing him, standing on his behalf to do what he would do. And Jesus said in my name, cast out demons. So we are, we want to talk about different ways in which we exercise his authority. And I want us to consider what he told us in Mark 16, 17. He said, in my name, cast out demons. That means drive them out, expel them, evict them, get rid of them. Now you see, demons trouble people. Now, we shouldn't get to either of two extremes. One extreme is people totally deny the existence of demons and they don't even take them into consideration. They pretend they are not there. Pretending the demons are not, they will not make them go away. On the other extreme, people attribute every problem, every situation to demons. And that's also a wrong extreme. There are things that happen because of our choices, our decisions, and we need to take responsibility. And we need to find a balance where we know our responsibility, but we also recognize when there are demons at work. Demons can cause sickness, disease, trouble the minds, afflict people, bring hindrances and various things. And Jesus says, here's how you deal with demons. You cast out demons. You drive them out. You evict them. You expel them. So we must learn as believers to learn to cast out demons. Notice Jesus says, these signs will follow those who believe. This is for all believers. It's not just for specialized preachers, but for all believers. Every believer can cast out demons. What do you do? You say, in Jesus' name, Evil spirits, I command you to leave. I cast you out. And that's how you exercise your authority. In the name of Jesus, you tell that spirit, you tell that demon that you are casting that demon out. You call it by name and you say, in Jesus' name, I cast you out. That's one way of exercising the authority Jesus has given to us. Use it whenever you need to. Let's pray. Lord, even as we consider and learn how to use our authority, I ask for each one listening that we will grow in this, we will become aware of this. And in our everyday life, in situations at work, in our, in our places of study or at home or various situations we face, we will discern where demons are operating. And we will say, in Jesus' name, you demon of fear, I cast you out. In Jesus' name, you demon of oppression, I cast you out. And we will cast out using authority you've given us. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.